Welcome to Help Desk TV. My name is Rudy Stebby. While the control panel is still there in desktop mode, there has been a new hub introduced in Windows 8 called PC Settings that lets you change several important settings for your PC. To access PC Settings, you bring up the Charms bar first by hitting the Windows key plus C on the keyboard or hovering the mouse for a short while in the top right or lower right corner. When the charms bar appears, hit settings. Now hit the more PC settings link that shows up at the bottom. Now let's take a look at the PC settings in detail. The personalized section allows you to change settings for your lock screen, start screen, and account picture. Under lock screen settings, you can change the lock screen wallpaper, select apps like calendar, messaging, and email to show status and notifications on the lock screen, and also select other apps like calendar to show additional detailed information like your agenda and appointments. Under start screen settings, you can select a background for the start screen and change the background color from a predefined set of available background designs and colors. Finally, you can change your account picture to an existing file on your computer or SkyDrive, or take one from your computer's camera. There is also an option to create account pictures with apps but there doesn't seem to be any apps listed for now. User settings let you choose between using your Microsoft account to log into Windows or just a local account the way it was on Windows 7. You can also change your password, create a picture password, or create a four digit PIN for logging in. Lastly, you can add or remove additional users from here. Notifications are where you manage your notification settings. You can turn them on or off, choose whether notifications are shown on the lock screen or not, and enable or disable notification sounds. You can also enable or disable notifications for each app here. In the search section, you have the option to choose whether to let Windows keep your search history or not, and if history is enabled, you can also set Windows to show the apps you search for most on the top of your search results. You'll also get the option to delete your search history to start anew. Lastly, you can set which apps can be used to provide you with additional search results. The share option controls which apps appear when you click share from the charms bar, as well as the ability to organize them in a list based on frequency of use. In the general section, you will find settings for your time zone, enabling or disabling app switching between recent apps, autocorrect settings, language settings, PC reset options, and advanced system startup and restore settings. Here in the privacy section, you can allow or deny apps access to your personal information, such as location, real name, and account picture. You can also choose whether or not apps can send the links of web content that you access from the apps, including the websites you visit, to the Windows Store, which, according to Microsoft, is done in order to improve the Windows Store. Devices allows you to manage devices connected to your computer, as well as devices present on the network. You can also choose if device driver software can be automatically downloaded or upgraded from the internet 
when your computer is using a metered internet connection, like 3G or 4G. In wireless settings, you can enable or disable all wireless communication using airplane mode or enable disable individual wireless devices like Wi-Fi, 3G or 4G data connections. Ease of access manages accessibility settings like high contrast, large text, carrot browsing, narration, notification display times, and cursor thickness. Under sync settings, you can manage how Windows syncs all the PC settings with your Microsoft account. The home group section lets you join a home group for easily sharing documents, music, pictures, videos, printers, and devices with other computers on the same home group. You can also create your own home group here, which generates a password that you can use on other computers in order to join them. And lastly, the Windows Update section helps you check for important updates and install them if available. I hope you enjoyed today's Help Desk TV. Please join us on our help forums at forums.helpdesktv.ca. There, you can further discuss today's topic or just ask another question you need help with. See you there.